Alright, what's good, y'all? I'm Charles Truly. And over here, man, we embracing masculinity. Alright, man. I keep hearing um I keep hearing women say this one thing that's like uh driving me crazy. Cause it's not true and it's not real. Um you know there are extreme cases, but for the most part, this one thing is not real. And if you hear it, man, it should really be a red flag. Um and that is when you hear a woman say, I'll be feminine for the um, right man. And I'm going to tell you why um, it's not true. That um, femininity, masculinity, all these things are part of civilization, of being civil. Man, at the heart of it, we're, you know... We try to separate ourselves from animals, but the only difference between us and animals is we're a lot smarter than most. Um, and then the fact that we're civilized, that uh, we train ourselves up not to act on our instincts. Um, so, yeah, for somebody to say that they're feminine for the right uh, man or woman to say that, um, it's just not true. Like... You know, if anything, anything takes practice, you have to learn like um, school, school just didn't start in college. You had to go through. Um, you started in kindergarten, some people had preschool, um, daycare or whatever, you know, and then even before that, you had your parents teaching you how to talk, teaching you the right ways. Um, you know, you first walking. If you did the wrong thing, you know, you might have got, you know yelled at pop whatever it was however you you know were reared but all this stuff started as a kid so um femininity is the same way and you know i'll say from my own personal experience you know um i went to a public school uh, you know public schools really very liberal they teach um they really teach men how to be slaves you know what i'm saying like they 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 teach men that it's bad to be in your full masculine to, um, you know, like if you, you know, beat your chest and all that, that is bad um, to take, take leadership as far as like, um, if you got that one kid who is persuasive to everybody else, they'll try to like put him in this place and tell him, you know, we can't just do what you want to do and this, this and that. And really he just exerting his natural leaders you know leadership skills and um that happened to me a lot as a kid you know i would want to do certain things i was very passionate i was very persuasive and i would get called out on it you know um i had a couple uncles who they embraced it because they they've always been in a like full masculine um but for the most part you know it was looked it was frowned upon like my aunties or the women they didn't like that you know what i'm saying uh it was it was kind of challenging to them so yeah um in the past like five years you know and things that happened in life um trying to figure out why certain things weren't working and why i was having issues here why my why why i might have been depressed all these things and a lot of it was because i wasn't moving in my full masculine and it wasn't like I could just say, you know what, I'll be masculine when when the right situation occurs or the, the right woman. That's not how it worked. I had to practice. I had to learn. I had to research. I had to study. I had to go back to a lot of the principles that my grandfather taught me, um, a lot of principles that my uncles taught me, a lot of things that I was told that um, at the time, because um, I was in a very liberal environment, I thought it may have been misogynistic, like me, um, you know, me putting myself first or me taking care of myself or me having opinions that was different from uh, society and standing on those, you know, uh, when I really started coming into my masculine, I felt guilty. I felt guilty for being a man because all my life I had been told different by the public schools and this, this and that. The one blessing that I did have is that I was raised by my grandparents, so I had 
my grandfather, which was a World War II veteran, um, and I had my grandmother. So I had that balance. So um, it's always been in me, but you know, I had to fight against um, the things that I was taught. And it wasn't like I could just switch on my masculinity. It's um, it's taken me, you know, four to five years, and now coming into it, and I'm still learning. So, for, you know, to hear a woman say, I'll be feminine for the right man, it's a trap. You know, she might be feminine because she's infatuated with you or something that you offer or something like that. But um, it's almost like a bait and switch type thing because, yeah, she might be feminine then, but that real side of what she's been training and she's trained to be independent, masculine, all these things, that's going to eventually come out. As men, we're not perfect, we're humans. And a lot of times I've noticed where that come out is when they start to feel like you're not leading in the right way or they disagree uh, with something. Um, you know, if you're growing, you take a chance and then your business not going how it's supposed to. Or, you know, you want to make a decision as far as like, you know what? Yeah, I know you want that, but we can't get that right now. Um, things like that. Like when, that, when it gets real, those women who say I'll be feminine for the right man, they'll start to retract. And then that whole masculine uh, way will come out. So, you know, what I'm really trying to say is a feminine woman is going to always be feminine. It's, it's not a condition. You know what I'm saying? It's not something you switch on and switch off. It's something that you practice. Um, any man who's masculine, he has to practice that. Um, if you don't go to the, if you lift weights, if you don't go to the gym, you're going to lose that muscle mass. If you don't practice your masculinity, you're going to lose that. If you don't practice your femininity, you're going to lose that. If you're not, if a woman's not practicing her femininity, she's practicing masculinity in a sense of like independence and stuff like that. And then if she's doing it long enough, um, and she's stuck in her ways, you're not going to be able to come along as a man. She'll act like it because she's probably lonely or want a man or think this is what I'm supposed to do. I've achieved this, I'm doing this, so now I need a man or want a man, you know. So that's the thing. As far as your interactions, um, that could be a thing. If you're a person like me, you 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 can't help but be feminine in my presence. But at the same time, there's gonna be a fight for a woman who's not truly feminine. It's gonna be a fight, it's gonna be a lot of extra energy that I'm exerting to keep her in her feminine. And that's energy I don't have because I'm doing other things, you know what I'm saying? I'm growing my business, working my business, doing this, traveling, um, to try to get deals, all kind of things. I don't have time to try to keep a woman in her feminine. If I'm dealing with a woman, I need a woman who was raised from birth to be feminine. She's seen her father, you know, deal with her mother in a marriage relationship, and her father was an actual leader. He wasn't some punk, you know what I'm saying? Like, he spoke up, uh, even, you know, when it, you know, even she didn't agree, he stuck, he stuck to his guns, you know, he, and then even then, you know, he listened to her, he took in consideration of the things that, um, that, you know, uh, this woman's mother or wife, you know, uh, wanted, and, you know, he made the right decisions, um, that, you know, that's the type of woman I, I, you know, I would deal with, she's naturally feminine, not having to, you know, practice it or turn it on and off. Like I say, man, if you hear a woman say that, it's probably a good time to run, man. Um, I'm not going to keep this video too long, man. Uh, just know that conditional femininity doesn't exist. It may in rare cases, but for the most part, it's like trying to play Powerball or the lottery, man. Like, your chances of actually getting into that is, um, you probably got a better chance of being struck by lightning, bro. So, yeah, when you hear that, um, run. Um. Cause it's, it's, it doesn't exist. Um, as with anything else, any degree you get, if you're going to be a surgeon, you got to go to school years. So like, man, you got to go to school years, 10, what, eight, 10, 12 years, uh, to do stuff like that. And like I said, that's, that's with anything else, being a wife, uh, even being a husband, man, you know, you got to practice that, man. It's not just something that you can do right off. Um, but I'm Charles Truly, y'all. And over here, man, we're embracing masculinity. Uh, go ahead and subscribe, man. Hit that notification button. Uh, and just tune in, man. I got more of this coming. Um, y'all have a good night. All right.
Who's trying to tell me what a real man is? 